I just realized I'm wearing my glasses. <laughs> oh well. All right, all right. <laughs> just I can see. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. So, welcome to Monday Mortgage Matters. I'm Brandon Snyder. Hi, I'm Crystal. <laughs> And that's great. He threw me off. I know, I know we are out of <laughs> whack. So, hey, so right out of the gate, let me see if I can get us up and rolling here so I can see you guys' comments. Um, let's see if I have a glare. A little bit. Cut that down. All right. Awesome. So, happy Monday, right? It's a great Monday. We're going to talk my about first the picture. Day back from vacation. It is. So, how yes. was your vacation? It was great. Awesome. Yes, it was great. Awesome. Wonderful. Yes. So she went to the beach without us. I did. I was so fun. We're not jealous. So. No, we shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> so we got an awesome little show for you today. We're going to talk about um, two of the biggest home buying myths that are, that are out there right now. It's, just, it's keeping the people from buying a home. Can't talk this morning. But before we do that, um, I want to get your feedback. So if you haven't seen this photo right here, I would like to know what does the audience think? Is it pink and white, or is it gray and blue? It's Let pink us and white. <laughs> I think it's, it's pink, pink and white. white. I mean, I see pink and white, so I know I can't get that much closer. But uh, where would the blue even be? It's I don't know. It's Who's like they see gray, and then yeah, it's it's a weird thing. So is that your, like that's the greatest shoe? Thing. No, no. Oh, I've never seen that. I don't know who took that photo, where oh. it originated from, but it's all over the internet. So we'd love to know. Pink or white, gray or blue, leave a comment. So um, just say hello to a few people. Hey, Daniel, Tammy, Tracy, what's going on? JD, Jessica, Joy, thank you guys for joining us today. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Ready? I'm ready. Myth number one. Myth number one is that you need a 20% down payment. Less than 20% of people believe that lenders would make loans with a down payment of 5% or less. That's right. 15% believers believe <laughs> believers 15% believe lenders require a 20% down payment and a 30 and 30%. This is why we don't do this live. <laughs> <laughs> this is what makes fantastic bloopers later. 15% Okay, you know what? I can't. Can take stab at it. All right. 15% <laughs> believe lenders require a 20% down payment, and 30% believe lenders expect a 20% down payment. Whew. So, what that, that means out there, really, in reality, is <laughs> a lot of people still believe you got to have 20% down, which is not true at all. So, I just want to cover just a few of the low down payment options um, that are available, like right here at Willowden. So. Um, First off, you got USDA, which is 100% financing available, right, for qualified applicants. Well, disclaimer there. Um, but it's in right areas, all these different things. So, and, and I don't go through all these loan options, but I'm also going to post a, a comment here. I'll try to pull this up as I do this. But um, anyway, so I'm going to post a, a comment here that's got a link that really details all of these programs, okay? Um, so USDA is 100%. VA loans, which are also 100% financing available are the greatest loans on the planet. If you're a veteran, active, former military, if you think you might be eligible, reach out to us and we can find out. That's an awesome program. That is awesome. Um, we got FHA, which only requires 3.5% down. Mm -hmm. So still a small down payment. <clears throat> we have Fannie Mae and conventional loans that require around 3% down if, for qualified applicants for, as well. Um, and then finally, we got a Alabama Housing step-up loan, which offers down payment assistance that allows you to borrow up to 3% of your purchase price toward um, to cover that down payment like we talked about with FHA or conventional. You can really couple those two together and end up with very, very little out of pocket. There you go. So, and uh, I'm gonna post a link here in, uh, while I'm finding this. Crystal? Sir? Hit us with myth number two. All right, let's see how many times I can I can uh, mess up on this. <laughs> Myth number two is that you need a 780 FICO score or higher to buy. Show so, chart. <laughs> show chart, yes. So here's, here's the national averages. All right, and I'm trying to find this link too, so bear with me. You're leaving me high and dry here. You're going to have me start singing in a minute. <laughs> 
Or oh, should start. Did. So, um, and really what we're getting at is, this is the national averages, right, put out by LMA, um, which is a huge organization that, that provides loan origination software for like tons of lenders across the country. So they know what the average closed loan FICO score is. So the numbers break down basically um, different ranges here. You got 600 to 649, 650 to 700, like all those different things. But essentially 53 and a half percent of all closed loans fell between 600 and 749. Which is a big range uh, of FICOs, and I actually ran the numbers for our team here in Alabama. And out of almost 500 loans that we closed, say between 2016 and 2017 here in Alabama, this was the distribution for us. Um, like I said, I can only say that for us, right? This is not for every lender. This is national averages for us. Like 45% of our borrowers fell between 650 and 699. There you go. And most people think I would never qualify for a house if I had a 650 FICO score. The results say otherwise. Proof is in the pudding. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, and I'm still looking for that article. I should have that prepared. But um, I did not. So, no, I'm not of lines. I just sit here me crazy. So, <laughs> anyway, I will find it. I will post it in the comments and uh, and go from there. So let's see if we have any questions. So. Man, we got tons of people on here. Thank you guys for joining. Um, I don't know who's still on here, but uh, Richard, Rick, Dennis, John, Monica, Enrique. What's up, brother? Uh, Dana, Chris, Daniel Haynes. So. Wow. Yeah, and share this video with somebody, right? Um, if you think, if, or tag them in these comments if you think they need to know this information, right? So if they think, well, I gotta have 20% down, not true. That's one of the biggest things that we hear all the time. It's crazy that uh, people still believe that, but really it's just lack of information. So share this information, tag them in the comments, and um, any questions that you guys have whatsoever, please post them in the comments below. And if you missed our first question that we asked, is this shoe pink and white or is it gray and blue? Leave us a comment. So <laughs> I say it's pink and white. Too. Crystal agrees. Of course, we also said that Marilyn was having a girl, and she had a boy. That is so true. That is true. And congratulations, Marilyn. We got yes. to we got to meet the baby. I got to play today. with his little toes. Man, he's so oh, awesome. He's so cute. Isaiah uh, came by and visited Isaiah us. West, yes. uh, yeah. So um, we miss Marilyn. Marilyn looks awesome. She, she does. looks fantastic as usual. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I missed any questions. So yeah, if you got questions, anything concerning home ownership, post them below, and then again, let us know. What your thoughts are on this? <laughs> totally non real estate related, but this thing is just blowing up the internet right now. So. Really? I, I, I guess I'm just not on Facebook much here lately. <laughs> so, maybe it's just taken off. I don't maybe know. So. But um, I thought it was literally Karis' shoe. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like something she would wear, actually. Yeah, it does. Um, so I posted that, that question on my Facebook this morning, and comments are just crazy and they're all across the board. But um, very, very interesting. So that's really all we have today. Two big myths. That you have to have 20% down and you have to have a 780 FICO score to qualify. Both are false. Big time false. These graphs show otherwise, right? Um, Do you like live Monday Mortgage great, Matters better than recorded Monday Mortgage Matters? Because as you can see, if you go back, if you're just now joining, I messed up quite a bit. <laughs> and that's okay because that just proves that nobody's perfect. That's right. And, you know, we all make mistakes, but I did. And that was my first one. And my it was some crazy one. stats, though. I mean, it was a lot of numbers. The biggest thing is that, that a lot of people still thought that, uh, you know, you have to have that 20% down. Yeah. So, and then when I get off, I'm going to find that article. It's on my website. <laughs> And I can't find it on my see, own website. See, this is why when we go live, <laughs> stuff like this happens. But it if is. we had recorded it, it would have been, it we would have been prepared. I actually post two. I did, I did find the, the one about the down payment assistance programs. And uh, so I'll post this in the comments, man, and, and we'll be off to the races. So I don't know how long I've been going here, but uh, if nobody's got any questions, let's see. Missed any questions? No questions. If you got questions and you're watching this later about homeownership or any of these myths that we covered today, post them in and we'll still also yeah. if you have any ideas on something that you would like to hear us talk about because we're about to celebrate one year of doing these mm -hmm. Monday Mortgage Matter shows 
and it's something that we take great pride in here. So we would love to hear from you if there is anything, any kind of topic. It can be just whatever. I mean, just make something up if you want to, and, and, and we'll do our research, and we will do our best to do a show for you. But yes, comment below, comment, write us, email us, whatever, call us, let us know what you want yeah. us to talk about. Anything. <laughs> we'll cover it all. Yeah. So, but yeah, without further ado, I guess that's all. No questions. If um, you have any questions whatsoever, give us a call at 256-734-6012 or visit us online <laughs> at SnyderMorgansteam.com. 24-7. That's right. You got it. You got it. I did. I finally posted that, by the way, and I'm going to pin that comment so that it will stay right there at the top and uh, you're good to go. So yeah. thank you for joining us today. I'm going to exit awkwardly over here and cut off this recording because I don't have a... If you'd note. like for me to sing while he's turning the camera off, just, just post what song you want me to sing. Oh, don't forget to unplug. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sing for us, Crystal. You'll be swell. You'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>